Hello YouTube. Welcome back to uh, our series. Uh, this is uh, episode number five of vintage cameras from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Uh, today we're looking at a Tower Flash 120 from the 1950s. This is a 120 film size box camera. Uh, it produces a nice big 6x9 negative medium format. Uh, it takes 120 film. On the front, let's see, it has some very nice features. These two uh, openings here are viewfinders. This one uh, is for waist level. You would hold it like this. And it would take a nice vertical photograph. If you turned it on the side, this viewfinder would give you a nice horizontal photograph. Since this is the film plane here, your negative would be horizontal. If you turned it this way, you would have a vertical. Now, don't forget, back in the day, when you took your film to go get processed, they would simply develop it, place it on place the negative on top of photographic paper, shine the light on it, make a contact sheet, cut it, and that would be your photograph. So you had a very good chance of them being in focus since there was no enlargement uh, being involved. And it was really neat. The history of this camera is the Tower brand is a private label uh, for Sears. Sears in the 50s um, had many camera makers, manufacturers making cameras for them, but they had to put Tower on it. Tower was their house brand for Sears. Uh, most likely, the history I've come up for this camera is that it was made by Bylora, film, uh, sorry, camera manufacturer in Western Germany. Uh, and the telltale clues are right here. It says Tower. I don't know if you can see that. Tower made in Western Germany. And of course, uh, Western Germany was uh, formed in 1949. It lasted until 1990. Uh, so you have the indication here, made in Western Germany which probably, from my research, probably is made by Ballora. Uh, they made many cameras, uh, millions of cameras, actually. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about the uh, functionality of the camera. Now, one thing I want to touch on, since this is uh, fifth in a series, is that some of you might be wondering, what about why isn't the camera cleaned? Uh, scrubbed uh, to be more presentable. Well, just like any other antique, you want to leave it what they call farm fresh. You don't want to scrub it. You don't want to wear it. You don't want to uh, ruin it in every way. The only thing you would do is just dust it off and that's it. If you were to take this camera and start scrubbing all the little parts inside this uh, vinyl, getting the dirt out, the glue would probably come undone. Since this really uh, wasn't that expensive, you can even see the uh, glue line here where it was just folded and glued down. And you start to clean it, water would probably dissolve the glue and you'd have a mess. All right, this is a fixed focus lens, uh, probably set anywhere from 12 feet and to infinity. Uh, the shutter still works. And the shutter speed to me sounds like around a 30th of a second. Uh, you have two choices, instant and bulb. Instant means it'll take the picture without uh, you having to adjust uh, the shutter speed. And B, if you took a nickel and you move this red dot over to B, the, bulb, the, the shutter would stay open for as long as you needed it and then you'd close it. So that's everything on the front. You have a nice Art Deco style uh, 
looks like possibly silk screen front panel. Like I said, these are the two viewfinder. And here, we'll get to this in a minute, these are the contacts for the flash unit. That's why this was called the Flash 120. Now, to load and unload your film, you'd have to press in these pins on each side. Press them in firmly, and then you pull apart. Here's the seam. And you pull it apart gently. And all metal construction. Now this one has their the little the little red window, which would be here, that you would look through to see what uh, picture frame you're on, what negative uh, is missing. So if you were to use this camera today, you would have to replace it, which would be very hard to do, or put a three or four layers of black tape over the back right here. You'd have to put black tape. Because if you didn't, that would be a light leak, and your negatives would be ruined by what they call light fog. Light would get in and fog, expose your negatives. Now, here's a beautiful... This camera, I don't think, was used that much at all. Uh, it's Look at the size of that negative. Beautiful 6x9 negative. Uh, two rollers. Since this is... The film advance, you would load your fresh film here. You'd open this, pop in the fresh film, bring it over this way, over the wheels, slip in your paper here, and you'd advance it. Now, there's no clear indication on here where the you line up the start with the arrows of the film. Probably had it in the instruction book. Uh, when you advance 120 film, there's... In the beginning, there's an arrow, both sides, and you have to line it up. I would say, probably you'd have to line it up with this roller. You'd bring it around and line it up there. Once you have done that, you take the back of the camera, and you carefully slip it on like this. Push it tightly together, and both these pins... One on this side, one on this side, are now locked in firmly. Now, let's take a look at the flash unit. This is the tower flash unit uh, made, uh, I believe, 99% sure this was made by, by Laura, B-I-L-O-R-A, in Western Germany. Uh, the only telltale sign is down here if you can see it it says western germany and of course we know that that was uh in existence known as the federal republic of germany which lasted from 1949 to 1990. uh first thing you'd have to do to use this flash is you would have to pop up these two pins Lift up the metal plate carefully, and you would have to insert into the flash unit two, what they call the, the day, pen light batteries. Now we know them as AA batteries. One here, one here. Okay, here's the back. Now the back, even by looking at it, this was either well taken care of or never used because there's no acid leaking that leaked from the batteries here, inside, clean, no battery leakage at all. And let's see, you would take this, slip it in, close down the two battery locks. All right, and let's see the front. The front uses a flash bulb. Uh, this one happens to still be intact. It's in very good shape. Uh, these were pretty standard. I remember in 1960, when I was a little kid, uh, my uncles, their, their cameras used these flash bulbs. And they would pop. Sometimes they would break after the flash. And uh, when you took a picture, a lot of heat came out. 
big ball of light and uh, inside these flash bulbs sometimes on the inside of the outside it's coated with plastic and it would bubble and sizzle it was just for, as a little kid it was amazing uh, you have your bulb release here and one of these is a bulb release here uh, to eject it or this one uh, I don't want to mess with this as my friends I don't want to pop it out and possibly break that bulb uh, but it's beautiful um, made of I believe this feels like Bakelite uh, which is interesting because if you look up Bakelite uh, formaldehyde is used in the process of making it that was before they made things out of plastic uh, and let's see how you would use this you would take your camera your tower 120 flash and those two pins that you see there would go into the two holes you press down firmly there was a little click and now you're all set if you wanted to take a nice vertical flash photograph you would go that way and it's just a very interesting little camera uh, this camera is uh, trending on the internet uh, for twenty dollars just the camera but when you add the flash and an unused bulb it's over thirty dollars so that's pretty good um would i use this camera yeah i would i would take it out and use it uh experiment with it and see what kind of photographs uh it takes uh not getting any closer than 12 feet with it or 15 feet and um, it have to be a very bright sunny day outside or inside you'd have to use the flash Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. This was our fifth camera in a series I'm doing about vintage cameras. Uh, I hope you like it and subscribe. Have a great day.